All right, what's going on, Simps? The worst duelist here. So, um, you know, as you can see in this video, we are on YG Omega, and um, you know, typically I do most of my online testing on Dueling Book, just because it's just you know, it's it's Dueling Book. It's kind of the most accessible and widespread. But um, you know, really, I like to play with physical cards. But the reason we're on YG Omega today is because I'm actually going to bring a new series to the channel. Um, you know, it's something that I can do. You know throughout the week in my off time trying to get like a once a week upload on this and you know it's a little bit more accessible to me because I'm doing it on my computer which is nice but you know what we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be trying to climb the ladder on uh, YG Omega and uh, you know they have the power ranking system very similar to Dueling Book but this one has you know bronze, silver, gold, platinum, etc. You can get like the different rarities for your cards. You know, basically this is just the shiny new toy. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to climb the ladder on here just for uh, a casual fun series. Um, so the deck that we will be choosing um, is, you know, out of these decks that I have here built. But uh, the one that we will be playing in the video is the Buster Blader Dog Matica deck. Um, so the reason I want to go through the ladder with this deck is because I feel like uh, with the bands of the VFD and, you know, uh, Zexel or whatever else, you know, just the, the, the recent developments of the ban list, uh, a lot of people are projecting that there's going to be a more of a combo meta, which this deck, you know, kind of crushes combo on... Um, on winning die rolls and stuff and it's just a very consistent list overall um but you know that's kind of the idea with choosing this and you know another thing is a lot of people are projecting dragon link to possibly be the best deck um you know i'm not really too sure about that i mean i know i know it's crazy i definitely know there's a lot of dumb stuff that can go on and they have the dmz combo with the um Buster Blader or Dragon, there's the thing they fucking unlimited for some reason that they should not have done but uh you know this kind of to a degree hard counters that deck because of the sole purpose that if we can just get access to the dragon destroyer swordsman then you know it we don't even need the uh synchro against dragon link which is nice but you know uh, another reason we, we chose this list is because you know the dogmatic engines at full power still and red eyes dragoon is you know alive and well <laughs> so we kind of went with this. Also, I have all these cards in real life so I can play the deck in person as well. It's another reason why I chose this. And uh, it's also part of the reason why some of the ratios are what they are. But, you know, we can just get right into the list and talk about it some. And then um, we'll, we'll go from there. There's actually not going to be any gameplay in this episode uh, because I'm waiting for the list to actually take effect on Monday. Because then I imagine they'll probably reset the power rankings on here. And also, um, Dueling Book. I think it's how it works. I'm not really too sure, to be honest. But I figure we just wait till Monday, and then at the very least, the balance will be in effect. If not, a reset on the power rankings. So we have our three Buster Rope with the Destruction Swordsman. You know, it searches our prologue, gets us into our Buster combo. So alongside the three of these, the three of these, and the three Trap Tricks, it's uh, pretty consistent to get to the Buster Blader engine. Two of the Destruction Swordmaster, because you just it's unfortunate that you have to play two of these, but you, the deck doesn't function if you if you draw the one of. So we're going to end up just playing two here. Um, you know, I was considering one for one as well, but this actually only triggers on normal summon. So, yikes. Um, anyway, the Dogma Engine is just one flirtily. We're including the Maximus here, and of course the one Ecclesia. So the Maximus is in here because of the Schism and, you know, whatever. We have this little package down here as well. But, you know, also it's just another target for our Nadir. Uh, the big booty's nice. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, so then we got the Dragoon package here, these two guys, just, they're vanillas, more bricks. Uh, and then we have Gammas and Driver because, you know, people want to ash this card, people want to ash this card, people want to ash this card, you know, people want to ash this card, so, um, that is definitely that there, but, uh, you know, the game is less applicable for this because typically you have to commit to the board in order to get this to be live, but, yeah. I digress. So, you know, the Nadirs are just like crazy. The card's just absolutely insane. Uh, we can send our App Cologne to get into our Shadal combo, given whatever, you know, our hand is. If we have access to this or whatever, we can do we can do things there. Um, you know, the Clads also can, uh, you know, you know, it's just good. But Nadir is just broken card. And then the Omega Recycle stuff we got. Uh, Triple Prosperity, just for consistency. Um, there's really no reason not to play this card in this deck. It just adds just that another level of consistency to the deck. I mean, it's, there's a possibility of using 11 cards going first if you open this card. Um, you don't have to go six. You could always go for three, but, you know, Prosperity. Not really need to talk about that very much. Uh, Dragoon, 
the card's insane. Uh, went unchecked, so I might as well just play three of this. I considered inside as well, but I wanted to try out the strikes here, but yeah. Uh, droplet, uh, we don't really have a lot for going second. Uh, something else I'll mention later as well, but you know, the droplet's really good because it can also uh, discard like this card and stuff and just, you know, whatever. Just, it's just Droplet, it's a broken card. Uh, like I said, it just gives us an option for going second, so we don't just like kind of outright lose. And you know, the Gamma helps with that too, but I digress. Prologue, this is the last part of the engine outside of the stuff you sent for cost. But yeah, this card summons the Buster Dragon from your extra deck, and then, you know, it sends this for you and you make the fusion, and that's the Buster combo. The one schism, because like I said, we're including the Maximus, we're including the Amplone and stuff and the extra, wind is just insane, so yeah, there's that. Uh, the double memories, again, it's the same concept as this, you just can't draw this card. I suppose flipping this is fine, but you're not you're not gonna flip this you know it kind of like makes me want to play uh a one of of the dragon buster because like you can get this guy out and equip it from your grave or yeah just shenanigans um double punishment just you know dogmatic engine uh three trap trick again it's like more copies of this more copies of this so that's cool and then uh we have three strikes here this is something that i was kind of iffy on uh, i was considering um cosmics instead of this so that i don't lose two dragon destroyer swordsmen but also mm, i'm just unsure i think the strike's fine for now uh, it's a counter trap which is nice so like playing into boards this helps a lot and um you know we have the torrentials on the side as well so we can have that available to us as just another option going first because torrential with dragoon red eyes is just hilarious and you know turtle strike is broken too so yeah that is the main deck it is definitely subject to change um there's a couple things like um i'm not sure about this i'm not sure about these but for the for the most part i think the rest of it's pretty good so extra deck one link karibo um i'm actually not going to play this i forgot to swap it out it's supposed to be secure gardener i'm pretty sure you can yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Secure Garda, yeah. One Cyber Slink, yeah, because you do this so you can get into your Maximus play. Like, you get this guy, you make this, then you go Maximus, and then you can set up the Shadal play. But yeah, I didn't want to play the the Dragon Protector Whelp thing. Um, the effect is, like, actually relevant for Buster Bladers, but this is, like, more of, like, a Buster Blader engine, so it doesn't really apply. Uh, you pure Bl Buster Blader players are probably upset with me, but, you know, whatever. Anaconda, this is just for, like, the off chance of just, like, getting into this. Uh, this is something that's cuttable. This is usually something that you can banish off of Prosperity, because we're, you know, going into Prosperity, we can go into Red Eyes Fusion, so that's cool. Um, but also, you know, whatever. The uh, BLS Link... This is also something that is, like, subject to change. Like, I feel like you'll never actually want to go for this. I was considering Hot Red over this, but um, this is just what I kind of threw together right now for this. One Omega, one Buster Dragon, one Dragon Destroyer. Like I said, this recycles cards. This is the two guys you got to play in the extra for the Buster combo. Dark Dragoon, double Natis, double Clad, and then the Shadal Package. Um, something else I'll probably do, uh, like, actually just, like, right now is take this out... And I'm going to put in this Link Spider because I feel like um, it kind of gives the Verte more of a purpose. Like if you Gamma somebody, you can turn the driver into the Spider and then you can go into the Verte. So I'll make that quick adjustment real quick here because I don't think we actually are ever going to need double Titanoclad. I think the one is probably just fine. Um, and really, I feel like you only send this if you just have the absolute stones or if we're like getting it off of punishment for a recursion play. But yeah, this is, I think, is a better final extra deck. Again, maybe cut this guy for Hot Red. I feel like that could come up more, but... I don't know. Like I said, I have to actually play with it first. Sideboard, Triple Lancia, Triple Droll, Triple Storm, Triple Be Only One, because this is hilarious with the Buster Lock. And then again, the Torrentials, because they pair well with the Strikes. But um, yeah, this is the list. This is what we'll be going with. Um, this is, of course, the sideboard's very subject to change. This is just assuming that people will still want to play Virtual World. Um, I feel like it's like sort of decent against Dragon Link. I feel like this can also be good against Dragon Link. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where we're not even in day one of the new format yet. So I just kind of left it sort of how it is just for now because I feel like these blanket effects are really good but uh yeah not really much more to say here this is what we're going to be trying to climb ladder with starting next week I'm going to post another video uh you know trying to get in there and we'll see what we can do and hopefully this wasn't a terrible meta call I feel like it could be fairly decent but you know only time will tell we'll got to see what 
the rest of the meta wants to do and you know where we kind of stand with the actual consistency of this deck because i feel like this is something that seems really consistent on paper but i feel like also a lot of things can go wrong due to the fact that we're playing like double of this the normals we're playing the driver um, so multiple red eyes fusion can be bad as well but like i said we'll have to see so um yeah i guess that's all i got for you guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video like and sub if you haven't and uh yeah see you simps